Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh teman-teman semuanya Selamat datang di Jembatan Dakwah Dan kali ini ada sebuah video part kedua dari video yang tadi pagi Dimana kali ini pertanyaannya dari seorang perempuan yang mengatakan tadi bilang di part 1 bahwa ini adalah pertanyaan terbesarnya ya Ini berkaitan dengan apa tadi berkaitan dengan malaikat berkaitan dengan nabi-nabi yang ada di dalam uh, Quran dan juga yang ada di dalam Bible dan terus dijawab oleh Muhammad Ali dengan pertanya dengan jawaban yang luar biasa sehingga perempuan itu akhirnya merasa tercerahkan jawaban seperti apa oleh Muhammad Ali simak video selanjutnya hingga hari, hingga akhir agar kalian tidak salah paham mari kita mulai dan react. To say that you know what Muslims don't believe in Jesus, of course, anyone who reads the Quran will, will realize that. So that's not a disagreement. Now. The idea of sacrifice, I was just talking to you about it. We're just discussing it right now. How it does not make any sense? This idea to claim that God unjustly kills someone in order for for you to be forgiven, and you are not responsible for anything that you do. Yeah. And you are mm-hmm. saying that deeds are important, so you have to do good. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, so there's no difference between that and Islam then. That is true. I guess. What else? What is the difference? Eh? Tell me. Do you know what you believe and what Muslim believes? Essentially, we have like this belief called mm-hmm. like the Great Controversy, mm-hmm. where they say that um, instead of you know Satan being a a jinn, that he was that he's an angel, and um, he was jealous of Jesus and decided to <laughs> like because he was fighting in heaven with the other angels and they were fighting, and then he lost and was sent down to earth, and then that's when he started um, tempting Adam and Eve. Does that make sense to you? I guess because that's all I've been told, so. I don't know, but we're talking about common sense now. Like how you've been told. The thing is, Satan uh, has been fighting against the angels, which are the soldiers of God. Mm-hmm. So is God not able to to send Satan down or take him away from fighting the angels? What's the point of him fighting the angels? For what reason? I guess they would say, like they always told us that the reason God didn't intervene is because then people would think, oh, he intervened because he wants to hide something that what. <laughs> Satan is saying is true that God is not good. But isn't that such a human way to think about things now? Do you think God is worried about what people think about God? Mm. Isn't that such isn't that such a human thing to say that you look God is worried about what people are thinking. That's why when you read the Bible you realize that this is not from God. Many of the things there. Mm-hmm. Some things are we can say that are true. But many yeah. things are ridiculous. Like for example that when he God was scared from people of Babylon because they they were speaking one language now and they're uniting and oh, yeah. God was scared that they're going to build up said he's going to go up you know. Are you gonna fight God? What, what what kind of God is that? That is he's scared from for the creation he created, and he doesn't know the limits of the creation he created. Doesn't God know everything and anything? He knew from the beginning that he created this creation. He knows what they're gonna do and what they're, they're not gonna do. He's scared mm-hmm. from the, the creation that he created. You see, this these irrational beliefs they don't exist in Islam. They don't exist in Islam because in Islam God is the supreme. We worship God because He's the supreme. He's the all knowing, all powerful. If He's like you and me, and He's deficient and He thinks like a human, I don't need to worship Him. You know, if He's scared from me, you know, He should worship me. If God is worried that you know if humans are gonna unite, I gotta speak one language, and they're gonna like do something to God, then He should be worshiping us because He's scared from us. Mm-hmm. It's not the opposite way around. So you you read these things, you know, okay, this is such a ridiculous story that people have fabricated about God to demean God's existence, just like they have fabricated the idea that God rests and regrets and uh, forgets and all of these things which are not which are human deficiencies. So these human like deficiencies that we have they ascribe to God because the children of Israel had a problem with God they, they ascribed everything evil not only to God but to the prophets of God and yeah. they killed the prophets of God mm-hmm. like Matthew mentions and like the Quran also mentions so when you think about it it just becomes ridiculous like, because when we say what are angels is the question what, what are angels what is the description of what, 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 what is an angel according to Christians um, according to Christians an angel is like a, another creation that God made Mm-hmm. But they're like perfect, I guess, um, and they okay. stay with him in heaven, and they mm-hmm. worship him. So if they're perfect, how can one of them disobey God? Then that's true. I, I've always wondered that. <laughs> I was like, why would? <laughs> Because yeah. this, is what we be- this is the same thing that we believe as Muslims. We believe that angels are perfect beings. Allah says in the Quran, لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم ما يفعلون ما يأمرون. Allah says لا يعصون الله. They don't disobey Allah Azza Jal. ما أمرهم whatever He commands them, and they do as they're commanded. You know. Mm-hmm. And Allah Azza Jal says بل عباد مكرمون. لا يسبقونه بالقول وهم بأمره يعملون. But rather they are servants to the angels. They do not precede Allah in speech, meaning they, they don't speak over God. You know, they, they wait for the command from God, and whatever God 
commands them to do, they do. So, so these angels are pure creation from that sense. They worship God, they do good from that sense of perfectness, which is a relative idea of perfectness. So therefore, it, is, it becomes impossible for you to claim that Satan was an angel because <laughs> angels don't, don't disobey God. Yeah. So you see, you see how much these stories are always like this. It's inconsistent, ridiculous, and does not make any common sense. Because for example, you see the same thing in the story of Adam. Adam was perfect according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. How can you be perfect and then you disobey God and eat from the tree? Mm -hmm. Aside that you're perfect, yeah. you're not perfect, you know? And then how can God punish you, punish you when you did not know right and right from wrong? Yeah, that's true. So he like did. It, yeah, it's like you know a small baby crying and he drops a, a glass of water and then go slap the baby or something. You know, <laughs> like mm -hmm. the baby is not conscious, not aware of what he's doing. You know, does not know right from wrong. How can you punish it for something? That's why we have laws when you reach adulthood, right? Then you're, you're punished for, for specific acts that you do. When you reach the, the age first of 10 years where you're able to distinguish things like 12, 13, 14. But when, some, when a baby is two or three years old and he does something, only an, an idiot is going to go punish that baby, you know? Mm -hmm. Because that, he, we know that that baby is not a, able to differentiate between right and wrong. So what, like all of these things that opposes Islam are irrational things. Every, mm -hmm. look, every distinction, that's, that's a claim I'm going to make now, right? Every dis distinction that you, you find between Christianity and Islam that opposes the Islamic teachings is going to be something irrational. Okay. Anything, you know, and you go find it, you know. Yeah, like I have for to example, go look more. Yeah, like for example, the idea of prophets, for example. Like the prophets in Islam mm -hmm. are people who are the best of the creation of their time. They're examples for mankind. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know why they are? Mm, no, I'm not, I'm not sure. Because they're supposed to be teachers giving the revelation of God. Yeah, and if yeah. some, if your teacher is a liar, you're not going to learn from them, are you? No. If your teacher is an evil person, you're not going to take information from them, would you? No. Okay, so if your teacher does incest with his own daughters, are you going to go learn about God from him? Mm, no, that's true. Like, not. <laughs> like, yeah, I didn't even mention anything, but you said it yourself. That's one example, but I can give many examples. A guy jealous, so he kills a man, sends him to war so he can get his wife, yeah, you know? Like they, why, is these, why is these descriptions of people who are supposed to be prophets of God, mm. you know? Their job is supposed to be examples for mankind and people who are delivering the honorable message of the Creator. I guess, but, like... But, they in christianity they make it seem like oh because god still loved these people even though they made mistakes so that means you god can love you and use you too that's that's how they make it seem like especially with with David, that um, yeah, no one has a problem with any of that because we, yeah. we we're not talking about lay public now. We're talking mm -hmm. about the people who are chosen by God. Yeah. So there are people in the community who are not chosen by God who didn't better behavior than them. Yeah, like, that's true. It's not about like okay, so that can be the case for lay public. Yes, the lay public mm -hmm. can commit sins and God forgives them. And we have many stories about that in Islam. For an example, a person who killed ninety nine souls and then he killed a hundred and then. He went to a monk and he's, uh, he was asking for forgiveness. But that's a human being, a normal human being. Mm -hmm. But when we talk about prophets and messengers of God, if they are not truthful and of good character, no one is going to learn from them. No one is going to accept them as uh, examples for mankind. So in Islam, we believe that God chooses the purest of people to be messengers because they are delivering the revelation of God, the pure message of God. God is using them as agents. So that is different from saying that, yes, human beings like you and me and parables that we read, for example, about people who commit mistakes and they're forgiven. You can do that through parables. But to claim that the prophets of God, not just like with their own daughter. So he's all, why not one night and the other in the second night? Come on, like, you know, there's a level of stupidity, you know, that we can reach to like, this is like, uh, come on. These are, these are a lot of small mistakes here and there that you could talk about. Mm -hmm. Majority of human beings are not going to do such act, you know, let alone prophets of God. Mm -hmm. So then do you guys not believe like with Noah about him getting drunk and stuff like that is no that no absolutely not this is the thing absolutely not mm -hmm. like who, who why would i trust a drunk man for what god he's gonna tell me god said this i'm gonna listen to him i tell him sober up first and then come back to me <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> can have a talk you know if you if you're completely drunk wasted why am i going to use you as as, a, as an agent to learn about god you couldn't even control your own desires of uh, drinking or not drinking and i'm able to control it mm -hmm. am i better than Noah? i never mm -hmm. drink alcohol in my life am i better than mm -hmm. Noah? No. With this logic, I am because I'm. Mm -hmm. uh, I, he did. He couldn't control his own desires and drinking. I could. Yeah. Do you see how stupid? Of, uh, some nobody like me is better than you no know, in, in, in controlling his his desires. That, that is just such a ridiculous thing. Yeah, I remember reading that as a kid, and I. I thought it was strange. I didn't like that part of the Bible. Yeah, because, you know, we believe everyone has something which you call the fitra. It's an innate disposition that is God-given. Everyone has that fitra, innate disposition in their, in their heart. It's a way to recognize truth from falsehood. In, more, in, in the major things, in the, in the obvious things. Not in everything, that's why you need revelation. So this, mm -hmm. you have that. So when you read these things, it will not make any sense to you. Mm -hmm. that those are supposed to be the leaders, the, the prophets, the messengers, the people who are coming given revelation from God. So what about Prophet Muhammad then? Why is your position on Prophet Muhammad? Do you know anything about him? Do you believe he's a prophet of God or... Um, from what I've been reading, because I've been yes. reading the Quran, 
mm-hmm. I do, like more and more, I do believe that he is a prophet from God mm-hmm. and that the mm-hmm. Quran is the word of God. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I do, I do believe it. Um, I just want to mm-hmm. learn more about him. Fair enough. That, that's fair mm-hmm. enough because if you believe that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God, he mm-hmm. got revelation from God. Because if you look at his teachings, as I said, he taught people to believe in Jesus. Yeah. That Mary was a pure woman that had uh, Jesus without male intervention, without a father. That teaches you about Moses. And he was a pure prophet of God. And all the prophets of God were pure people trying their best. When we say pure, we don't mean they're perfect. Mm-hmm. But but they don't commit these major hideous acts. But uh, this is what Muslims believe about those prophets and messengers. So, uh, and also that, you know, that the Quran is a message from God that affirms that there was a prophet who got revelation from God called Jesus. Yeah, that revelation is not preserved anymore. And Moses got a revelation from God, but that is not preserved anymore. And that's what history shows. Anyone who does any actual investigation about manuscripts will realize there's no such thing from the time of Jesus. There's no such thing from the time of Moses. And whatever we have is from unknown people. So if you believe in these like basic principles that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God and the Quran is from God, essentially you believe uh, uh, the minimum things for a person to become a Muslim. Of course, if you want to learn more, you can learn more. There is no uh, problem in doing that. This is in the end your choice when you want to move forward and take that step and become Muslim, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, do you have any other questions for me, you know? Um, I think that that's all for now. If I have more next time, I'll join. Thank you. No problem, you're welcome to come anytime. Dan itu tadi ya teman-teman Kita bisa lihat bagaimana Jawaban-jawaban dari Muhammad Ali ini um, Benar-benar Sangat insightful Sangat berwawasan tinggi Hingga membuat wanita tersebut tadi Merasa Wah cukup aja deh Jawaban-jawabannya udah benar-benar sangat masuk akal di kepala ke- mungkin kurang lebih seperti itu ya pikiran jadi cewek ya admin nggak tahu tapi admin cuma bisa menduga-duga tapi kalau kita lihat dari uh, statement yang ada di akhir tadi ketika Muhammad Ali bilang mau tanya lagi nggak uh, cukup aja deh kayaknya udah cukup pertanyaanku hari ini besok lagi kalau aku punya pertanyaan besar lagi nanti aku akan bergabung lagi untuk bertanya kepada Bu Muhammad Ali kurang lebih seperti itulah ya intinya di akhir tadi dan ini video yang Enak banget ditonton karena Aduh ini apa sih ya Allah uh, Karena apa ya Kita bisa lihat uh, Muhammad Ali dan cewek ini tuh Diskusinya tuh uh, Sebenarnya Agak boring ya Karena suaranya cewek itu Lembut banget jadi kita tuh terkesan nungguin Tapi diskusinya itu insightful Bukan berarti jelek ya Tapi diskusinya itu benar-benar luar biasa Menurut admin sangat menambah wawasan admin ya Itu benar-benar luar biasa Admin sangat um, mendapatkan manfaat dari video ini Dan kalau kalian gimana? Apakah kalian mendapatkan hikmah dan manfaat dari video ini? Tulis di kolom komentar di bawah. Dan semoga kita bisa berdiskusi di kolom komentar dengan kepala dingin. ya. Dan udah sepertinya itu aja ya teman-teman. Semoga um, kita selalu di pikiran hidayah. Karena hidayah itu bukan hanya untuk orang-orang yang belum Islam. Tapi hidayah itu juga diperlukan oleh orang-orang Islam. Agar terus berada di jalannya. Di jalan yang lurus. Ihdinaw syiratal mustaqim. Yaitu, ya Allah tunjukilah kami jalan yang lurus. Jalan lurus itu seperti apa? Yaitu jalannya orang-orang yang... Kau beri nikmat di dalamnya bukan jalan orang-orang yang dimurkai dan bukan jalan orang-orang yang sesat ya teman-teman. Um, ya Allah, ya Allah. Udah gitu aja deh. Aku mau ngomong apa lagi. Aku bingung sampean. Terima kasih telah menonton video ini. Gair. Sampai jumpa pada video dakwah berikutnya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.